Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Hey, we're starting out the new year and I'm actually going to show you a little bit of how I like to decorate my window seat, the bay window, for winter. Not so that it looks like snow. And I'm just meaning a cozy, everyday look, but has a winter comfortable feel where you just want to grab a blanket and totally curl up and relax. I'm not putting snowflakes and pines and I'm just kind of doing my everyday look pre-spring, although there might be a hint of flowers that'll remind me spring is coming. So that is what's coming up next. So stay tuned. I want to just say Happy New Year, everyone. I hope and pray you all had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year. And I want to thank you for subscribing, all you new subbies. I am so looking forward to getting to know you. Thank you so much. I hope you like what I, I'm planning on doing. I'm staying with the English cottage look, American style. <laughs> So I hope you like what it turns out to. I'm going to be doing the whole house with just a, what I interpret as, as a, just a, a really pretty English cottage feel. My house is just a little small home. And so I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to make it the way I want. Um, I don't think many of you know a whole lot, but I was ripped off by a contractor. There's a whole story about all of that, and I don't want to bore any of you with just details of it right now. But if any of you really would like me to do a video that just talks about what has happened to me in the last about three years, um, it has some tragedy and then some happiness and just some okay things going on in my life. And so I just thought I would want to know if any of you really would like to see it. So please let me know if you would like to. So I want to remind all of you that also on the 17th, I am doing a collaboration with Antoinette's Decorating and Rebecca Ann of 67. And we have decided to do a theme that says our personal style. Uh, we're going to decorate our area in our house and show what our personal style is. And I think it's going to be a fun collaboration. So stay tuned to January 17th and it will be uploaded at 7 o'clock Eastern time. And for me, that's 5 o'clock because I live in Colorado. So stay tuned for all of this. It will be a lot of fun and it'll be neat to see what our different personal styles are. Well, you're going to get a sneak peek today of it because I'm going to do my window seat and I'm looking forward to you guys seeing it. Like I said, it's going to be somewhat wintry, but just fun. Anyway, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to show you my bay window and um well you're gonna have to pardon the lighting it's lit up from behind i suppose i should probably have waited till evening to film this so that you could see it better but let's move on with this first of all i'm gonna talk about this lovely here <laughs> yeah i don't know how it happened i was out of town this past summer and when we came back the window was broken but from the inside and no one was home it broke that window and it broke that window and that window. But yet all the breaks are from the inside of the window. So you're gonna see the fogging and all that. My windows are clean, except for around the broken area. There's nothing I can really do about it. So it's fogging, I lost everything. The only window that didn't break was this one. Now I have been experimenting. Now this is just permanent marker, which will wash off with rubbing alcohol. But I want to put the crossbars on my windows. Well, I don't have any grid pattern and well, I wasn't doing very good at it and I had no straight lines that would really work. But as you can see, 
I mean, it's kind of not showing up on camera, I don't think very well, but I tried to draw in some lines just so I can see what do I think of putting the grid patterns in the windows. I love it. It's, it matches my di or dining room patio doors, but I want to be able to see out my windows. So I'm working on figuring out how to make the windows grid pattern and figuring out how I'm going to afford to pay for a broken window. It's not like the contractor did enough damage. I have this now on top of it. Oh well, enough complaining and let's get on to decorating. Okay, let's just start with the basics, all right? Up here I had all my Christmas garland and I loved it so much, but I didn't want it to feel like Christmas. So I actually just added the Ivy Garland. I like it up there, but I'm not so sure. I almost feel like I should have it trailing out of the broken window, like it's grown in through the broken glass. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. It gives some greenery and it has some interest. So we'll see what I think of it as time goes by. And then I have keeping thing I have kept things the same. I have my beautiful lamp and my blooming lamp as Liz from Traditions of the Seasons or my <laughs> Anyway, which is her name and it just escaped me, but you know what I'm talking about. Most of you do. And so she, in the past, just made these beautiful blooming lamps. I always thought they were the prettiest thing just to put, you know, a beautiful vase of some kind, which is just my old world, and I just still love it. And I just added some flowers. Now, I kept it more minimal. Um, I decided to stay with the color scheme that I'm working with. I don't put a whole lot in here because it's pre-spring and maybe this is even too much flowers and maybe I should have just kept it with just the greenery but I thought it just felt a little too boring so I brought some stuff in and below it I have a crate that I just have sitting on my cushion here and in that we'll put some fun things all right next what I have just put in are these long pillow shams. They belong in a bed, but I think they work wonderful on a bay window as well. And they're my floral that really helps bring in the cottage style and the blue and white dishes that I love so much. Now I have put in bigger print of those beautiful flowers. Now you're seeing kind of the basic of how I had it last year, but I decided to make it feel a little bit different and more cozy than just what we see here. The big flowers. And these um, ones, these pillowcases are actually just pillowcases I got from Amazon. They're 20 by 20 and they are very affordable. Now I know this seems a bit unusual, but this is where I'm bringing in the winter feel still. I'm just using a beautiful buffalo plaid black and white throw blanket. It matches in a very strange, different pattern way, but it still works. And here I am throwing in another pattern. And what works, because the English throw many different patterns and colors together. That is why this works. If you are not doing English Cottage, this would probably seem not matching correctly, but it works and you'll see how when I finish doing more. Now on this side, I have balanced out the red of the blanket with, yes, it's a different pattern still, but it brings in red on this side. And here you see I've added, it looks like a towel. I got it from Amazon. It is just a simple little silk filling pillowcase, or satin I should say. It was very inexpensive. It doesn't quite look as needlepoint as I thought it was going to, but it still has the beautiful look. And the one girl, she's wearing the blue dress, and yet he's got the red jacket on it, and it's got the reds and some golds and some whites, and it just kinda is one more layer to um, give this an interesting, cozy wintertime look. Now inside of the crate, I just added some books, and then you know those paper plates I put in my Christmas tree and around? I just added one of those. Why not? It looks nice, and if it gets bumped over, 
whatever it's not going to break and it looks just as good and by the way they are so inexpensive on Amazon that if you can't afford or you're still starting out and you just haven't found the dishes you like you could buy those and use them until you can start finding the ones you want through thrift storing garage sales um, maybe even just buying them on Amazon or Etsy or whatever like that but I think it just brings in a beautiful look and so I think it has a winter feel without the snowflakes and I didn't want to get too carried away with the color but I wanted some and that's why I did the blues and the red flowers and then to make it even more cozy I can just see finding a book which I just put an antique book there because I love the coloring because the coloring of the antique book draws from the color of this print kind of pulls it in so it's not all pure white and blue and red we're adding that element of a natural cream and then to that next to it I've just put a simple little teacup and saucer and it's got blues and pinks and I think it just kind of pulls together all of the look and you could just curl up there and have a very cozy way to sit and read if you would so desire to sit in this window. And next to it, I just have a simple chair in this corner by my cabinet and I pulled in another one of those beautiful um, twall looking pillowcases and some blue. And it just seems to pull it all together in a very pretty way. Again, sorry about the backlighting. It's just too uh, bright outside. I've panned the camera out a little bit further so you can see it. But oh, I'm so sorry that it is so dark. And there's nothing I can do about the lighting. It's just the way it is in this house. <laughs> it's backlit. It looks better in person because the camera picks up light and shows the dark very dark. In person, my eyes can see the contrast and difference. But I guess that's just the way it is. And then I have my own personal chair right here that I sit next to. And I had it turned out of my way. And I, again, have just thrown in a really pretty little blue and white throw and that I cover up with all winter just relaxing in my chair and being comfortable so this is how I have done my window seat you like how I presented my window um, bay window as a way to be cozy for the winter months it's not quite spring and so I've created it more cozy feeling 
spring I'll add bunnies and flowers and all kinds of different things to make it cheerful and a spring happiness. But for now, I just thought cozy, comfortable, and that is what I was hoping I achieved. So I want to say thank you to all of you for watching. You guys are the best. I am so happy to have you in my lives. I love YouTube and I do love to decorate. So welcome to my channel again for all you new subscribers and all you ones that's been there from the beginning. I just want to say thank you for your loyalty and all your wonderful kind comments that all of you have been saying since the Christmas holiday season. So thank you so much again for watching. You all take care and God bless. Happy decorating and we'll see you soon on the 17th. You take care now and God bless. Till we meet again.